Hey, okay, um, I stopped playing this ball in 10th grade. You died of all the other times. Keep on breathing. From Tennessee State University, now offering a... Got a rare radio. It's a 1964 Chevrolet Impala AM FM flip dial. She's a rare radio. Uh, we've done a uh, complete cleanup on the case, repolished all the front, and done a full Aurora design conversion, polished all the push buttons and the chrome. And we got her up and running. This is uh, just now. Just now brought her up. We're gonna check it out here and make sure everything's all right. It's got AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. It's got four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got five pre-outs across the back in case you wanna add an amp to each of your speakers and even a sub. I ain't even wiped it down. I got a little smudger. It's got USB port. This is your port you'll be getting. You can put it in a round hole or it does come with a harness so you can mount it underneath the dash. This will uh, play a USB thumb drive and charge your devices. This here will play auxiliary in, cord in. That's your USB. It also has Bluetooth, voice command, voice assistance. And since it's such a rare radio, and it's kind of hard to put any LEDs in the front of this thing for status LEDs. We didn't do any of that. It's, it's actually on the side over here. So your LEDs over here, you don't really have to have it to know what you're doing. Right now you're on FM. If you want to go to AM, just flip it over. Takes you to AM radio. Back to FM. Got all your presets going through them. Make sure all the cams so you can preset your stations are up and running. Treble and bass like you've always had. Also, since you're running four channels out now, we've got balance and fader built into here. So... The way it's looking at your uh, little ear on your on your knob here, straight down is the center. That's wide open bass, that's wide open treble. And if you want to go to fader, you set it down to the bottom, straight down. If you got three or more speakers, you can fade from front to rear. If you've got two, you'll just have balance right and left. It automatically knows what you're doing. But this is the way you get into it. You're going to turn this uh, toner control clockwise like a 12 to 2 motion. One, two. It's, she's going to come on, say, in the fader mode. As long as you're moving this toner control, you can fade from front to rear. After that, we're going to go counterclockwise like a 12 to 10 motion. And she's going to come on and say balance mode. As long as you're moving that, you can balance from right to left. Let's try it. Adjust. There's your rears. There's your fronts. I'm going to balance it out and let it beat. Now we're back on toner. Now we're going to go into the balance mode counterclockwise. One, two. Balance adjust. There's your rights. There's your lefts. Gonna balance it out, let it beat. Alright, now we've set our four speakers up. Now we can just work with the uh, toner control. Your auxiliary in, where you can plug anything into it you want to. You'll get a mail to mail cord that comes with it. Satellite radios, XM, uh, anything that's got a head that puts out the signal. From a boy, um, with flowers Just plug it in, plug in your device, and turn it on. It automatically changes over.
and a little LED on the side over has gone green, that's auxiliary in. Anytime you're on auxiliary in, you want to come off of it and go back to radio, just simply turn your device off. In 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where you had it set, which we were on FM. If you don't want to wait 20 seconds, just turn the radio off and right back on. It remembers where you're at. It will go right back to what you were doing. We're going to let it run a cycle, make sure everything works right. And it should be getting about ready to change back. Now it's back over. That's how your auxiliary end works. Like I said, this radio is fully loaded. It's rare. Uh, it's a cool radio. It turned out nice. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. That's where our push button comes in handy, so you don't have to fool with the dials. You can operate it with the tuner and the uh, volume knob, but we found that the push button for some people is easier. All you do is bring your phone up, make sure you're on Bluetooth. All right, we're on Bluetooth now, and we're gonna take it and hold this button down. We're gonna pair our phone up. Sometimes you might have too many in here. In order for it to pair up, I found that out with my phone. I've got a lot in here. Uh, if that happens, you need to shut your phone off, clear it out, shut your phone down for a little while, bring it back up, and then re-log on. We're going to ask her to help us hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on our phone. All we do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, we're connected up. Now we can just go to music and hit play and it will automatically change over and play or we can use voice command. You have a, you get two mics, one you can get closer to you in case it's a convertible or a loud car and you also have one built right behind this little push button here. And I found these to be very, very good. So let's do a voice command. All we're gonna do is bring series up on our phone, hold this down. Play music. Okay. Now it's going to music on my phone. If we want to advance our music on our phone. All we do is just push the button once to advance. Twice to back up or repeat. Now, no matter what you're doing, the Bluetooth will override everything. So if you get a call coming in, you'll hear it ring through your system. Just grab the push button, push it once, talk. When you're done, you can click this twice to end the call or just let the phone hang up. It will go back to doing whatever you had it doing. It's been a long time. Now I can just tap this and it will go back in a few seconds, go back to FM where we had it. Or we can use voice command. That way you're not, you got your phone in your hand if you're driving. Hold it down. Stop music. Paused it, now we're going right back to radio. That's how your Bluetooth works. Now every time, once you do the initial pair up, and it will take up to eight devices, you always choose number one first. If it's not there, it'll move on to the next one. But when you get in your car, you don't have to pair up. You just turn the radio on and she'll come on and say Bluetooth connected. Once you do the initial pair up. Now we're going to do the USB. All you do is you'll get a thumb drive with some music on it and the file's already built on it. You can just slide yours into it. And uh, a lot of people like to hide these in the glove box and nobody sees them. You can operate it all with the push button. You don't have to take this out unless you want to charge your device or put another stick in. Put it in. If 
advance your music the same way you did your phone. One time up, twice, back repeat, or back up. This little radio's got a heck of a sound to it. Back up a repeat since we've been into the song for a little while. We can hit that and it'll repeat it. All the way back on up. Like I said, you can hide this. You just notice it's beeping, that means it's in progress. All you do is hold this down one second. Now we're going right back to radio. It's going to put it in pause. This is going to blink a couple times, along with the LED on the side. And now we're going right back to radio. Back on the radio. Going down the road, you, you listen to radio or whatever, and you want to go to USB, just hold it down one second, go right back to USB. Now, it depends on how long you were in pause or whether you go back to the same song or not, because this is kind of the computer age. Let's put it in pause, go back to radio, one... All you gotta do is listen for it to go off. It'll go back, it'll cycle back around, and we're back on radio. We get a freak and sugar brand. Coach, the products. Money. Also, what this radio is capable of doing, it has the brand new Aurora Design stuff in it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the top end, and we're gonna put it in the scan mode. Now this LED that I had to put on the side since it won't fit in the front does come in handy for that, but it's easy to operate. All you do is take your tuning knob and go one, two. That puts it in the scan mode. Now it's gonna start scanning stations without the needle moving. There's the next one. Right, this week the Korean Basketball League band. That's good if you're going out of town or you have a car show and you don't know the stations. It will change automatic for you. And when you find a station you like, I'll show you what to do. I said, really? There's your next station. Yeah. Now, you recently had this... Uh, had Let's see if we can find DVD a music DVD station. We'll let it keep going. TV one, right before the Stella Awards. Say we like that station there. All you gotta do is turn it one time. It will lock on there, or during that first little few seconds, you can start turning, and it'll let you find it. There it is. Pull you, pull you preset out, preset that station, you go back to it. If you're out of town, not, not at your local station. That's how your seek and scan works, and it's fully loaded and ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for it. It's a nice-looking radio. Thank you.